So the low carbon vehicle technology project is really about delivering advancement in the availability of low carbon technologies related to battery electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles. The main purpose of the project is really to accelerate the implementation of these technologies into production ready vehicles. We've decided the main partners would be Work Manufacturing Group, Jaguar Land Rover, Tata Motors, Ricardo, Myra, Cytec Automotive and Coventry University. WMC led three of the work streams for the project. Paratronics was about developing new processes, materials that could survive in an automotive environment. One of the key challenges in low carbon vehicles is actually the interface with the customer. The information the vehicle is providing the driver in terms of when he will need to recharge and so on. This led to the development of a simulator where the, the research team could actually try a number of different solutions that could then be turned into standards to create future low carbon vehicles. The largest work in the project was around lightweight materials and life cycle analysis. The lighter the vehicle is, the lower the CO2 emissions would be for the vehicle. So they looked at glazing, for example. They also looked at using new materials such as composites and lightweight steels to look at how they could reduce the actual weight of components. So on the technology side of things, like the project has succeeded. It's identified a number of new areas of technology that significantly reduce the CO2 output of a low carbon vehicle. One example being in the new battery technology centre where Warwick with its industrial partners is taking the lead in developing battery cells, modules and so on to try and make them more production ready for future use in vehicles. The other key area was to deliver the associated economic outputs required of the project. So the project successfully safeguarded over 2,000 jobs within the West Midlands area, engaged with over 40 companies and delivered business assists, with over 20 of these being SMEs that really helped develop the capability within the West Midlands region. WMG has benefited from its involvement in the project by enhancing its capability in terms of research areas, involvement and collaboration with the partners, and this will continue in the high-value manufacturing catalogue.